Billy Joel, the revered maestro of the singing and composition world, with his classic hits Piano Man, Just the Way You Are, and Uptown Girl, was very highly revered as an icon in his own league of music. His career has spanned from the 1970s and 1980s, making him be an icon of the music industry at the age of 73. His fans eagerly waited for his appearance on The Late Show last week to have a piece of what this musical legend has got to say. The conversation became interesting when the royal wedding question between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, which had occurred a month ago in May 2018, was opened by the host Stephen Colbert. Joel was greatly excited that an American actress was going to be a part of the royal family. Then, his next words took a very controversial and debatable turn. Joel claimed to have known Meghan during her early days as an aspiring actress in the late 1990s and early 2000s. And he said how Meghan would attend making herself at home among the A-listers in those yachts at parties in the Hamptons, the glamorous area in Long Island near the president's home. He went on to mockingly call her a yacht girl, purportedly referring to the fact that she was attending millionaires' parties held on yachts, wearing tight dress, high heels, as he had previously stated. This labeling has gained a lot of debates, with many debating on what Joel meant to say from this comment. It's noted that Billy Joel calling Meghan Markle a yacht girl literally means just that, not for one second to suggest she was escorting and doing something other than her normal dignified duties. The term she meant to describe the lavish parties and wealthy circles Meghan was moving in during her acting days in New York City. It is, however, these comments by Joel that brought quite a lot of controversy, taking into consideration Meghan's present standing as a member of the royal family. Stephen Colbert, in his host's intervention, tried to steer the conversation away from this rather controversial area by making an attempt to make a suggestion to turn to higher subjects. The damage, however, was made. Social media was rife with debate and speculation over Joel's revelations on Meghan's history and what skeletons should be found in his biography. Commentators were quick to turn the screws on the singer with disparaging reaction to what they deemed as uncalled for insinuations about the past life of Meghan. Sensing the sensitivity of the situation, Joel would later seek to clarify his comments in an interview with CNN. He told the news network that his comments were not meant to put Meghan in bad light. Joel clarified that the friend circles in the Hamptons were also amalgamating due to a few common friends, and his use of that term in regard to Meghan was absolutely wrong, even in the sense that calling someone a yacht girl would carry derogatory meanings. A Bill Joel hit calls, reminiscence of Meghan Markle's early New York days, partying at the most glamorous society events. While Joel insists that his comments had actually been factual, telling how Meghan had been in those salons before she did suits and met Prince Harry, the idea of why to publish such anecdotes remains to be discussed. It could be that Joel was sharing some interesting bit of Meghan's past without any evil intention on her part. Harmless storytelling mixed with intrusive speculations is sometimes blown out of proportion by the media. However, the criticism against Joel points to a larger etiquette in the public discourse of persons, especially of the royal. To label her with such a moniker as, Yacht Girl, without contextualizing such a term was arguably irresponsible or even reckless, inviting as it does unwarranted connotations and speculation about the character and past activities of Meghan. It brings out the sensitivity of sharing stories of one's personal experiences and at the same time keeping the privacy and reputation of individuals in good standing. On the whole, experts are convinced that Meghan's involvement in society's highest receptions had to be a kind of networking, or another variant on advancing in her acting career, by no means giving proof to some scandalous life. This type of social maneuvering is not uncommon within an industry that thrives on personal branding and connections over talent. Meghan's transition from Hollywood to royal life has doubtlessly placed her in a microscope of more intense scrutiny, against standards and expectations that diverge widely from the normalization of American cultural mores. The American public is generally more lenient with people's past, especially with their love affairs or social life, than the usually conservative and tradition-bound British public. This episode underscores, 
or just does a really good job of reminding people, the tangled intrigues and hardships public figures face when working with their past and present in the global spotlight. The bottom line is, in the full measure of this phrase, that amidst Meghan and Harry's true love and devotion to each other, they are equally devoted to their philanthropic activity. It will be, therefore, not out of place to add at this juncture that this short story serves as a poignant reminder that the value, character, of an individual should not be judged on the basis of rumors or isolated incidents in his past, considering particularly when the full context is absent. Celebrity gossip is very intriguing, but it carries an added onus of ensuring that it does not indulge in unfounded speculations or shaming. Billy Joel's comments were probably not intended to hurt, but they do underline the need for public figures to be careful when making comments about other people's private lives. The public and online communities should also learn from this to treat the stories with some skepticism and empathy rather than rushing to judgment or moving on with unverified information. It should center on the role Meghan brought into the royal family in efforts by both of them at the time, reflecting on the positive changes the couple has been looking forward to implementing. Thank you for your attention. I will be happy to hear from you on this dispute. Do you think he deserved more backlash for his comments, or is it something that gets overblown? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to never miss any of our pop culture discussions. Let me know your opinions down below in the comments section. See you in the next one.